Now, that's why the NFL reigns supreme. Because even though it's the first game, even though the team did look a little sluggish, a little bit tired, we still got a great-ass game out of it. This was a good game and a good way to start off the football week. Yeah, the Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson, Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes. And we got both quarterbacks playing really damn good. Uh, I was like, the defenses, I was like, even though there was a little bit of miscommunication and whatnot on, I feel like more on the Ravens part than anything, I was like, these teams played really well and at, at a really good level considering the first week. Now, normally, with the first week, normally sloppiness is to be expected, which we sort of see a little bit of uh, tiredness, which we sort of see it's to be, it's to be expected. Um, I was like, they both pretty much played a, I was like, an efficient game. Um, I was like, the defense was swarming the ball. But also, at the same time, to be honest, this is sort of what you expect out of the, basically the top teams of the AFC. Uh, I was like, normally, I was like, you normally have the Ravens and the Chiefs nip and tuck in, like, the top three in some form. I was like, they got good coaching, good organization, good quarterbacks. I was like, their personnel is all good. And I was like, I think that was all for show pretty much here. Uh, but basically, it, it, when it was like it was like the AFC Championship game. It was all that feel and all and everything. And I want to say it was even better, but it also sort of did play out not necessarily badly, but but on the Ravens it still did. Um, but we basically had a almost toe tap. Kevin Durant foot, be, I was like shoe being too big by Isaiah Likely away from the Ravens possibly winning this game because they were going to go for two. Now, where they would have got it, different story, but two yards, kind of, and the way Lamar was running, they might have got it. Um, so, but good win from the Chiefs. I think that they were really more, uh, I was like, of the two teams, I was like, they was the ones I felt like was really more solid. Uh, I was like, I was like, I think their defense, I think the only thing that they're really going to, their, their only real weakness is really basically somewhat in their secondary just because they got the they got the youngster out there on the other side of McDuffie. But everything else, they're like, they're stout up front. I was like, their linebackers are, which I was like, makes sense. I was like, I was going to say that their linebackers are really fast, but I was like, of like being to the ball and stuff like that, but they play Lamar Jackson and also they're gonna play Josh Allen, and you're gonna play uh, Herbert and Lawrence on this thing. And I was like, there's a lot of running quarterbacks that they're gonna end up really playing. So I was like, it makes sense that they make their defense like that. Um, I do like the Chiefs' uh, defensive plan of basically Chris Jones. Uh, he was playing. He was basically playing. He was a penalty. He was playing on the outside of tackle at times too, where they would get matched up on a tight end or a running back uh, to the point where they had to double team, which frees up everybody else on the line. Um, but I think, and I was like, but to be honest, I was like, even with that little bit on there, that that little small little speck that I was talking about on their defense, the defense was pretty much there. Uh, to be honest. Uh, I was like, I don't know if this says more. I was like, it probably says more about the Ravens team than the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs is fine. Their offense is going to be great. Is is uh, worthy? I did not. I was like, I didn't think that he would be do. I was like, I figured that he would get touches because I was like, one, he's a fast dude on the field. Um, so you want to get that speed out there. Um, but the one, I was like. I don't know how with that blown coverage where there was no safety of it. I don't know how that happens to even though he's a rookie, you know he got blazing speed, how that happens. Um, but the the I was like the end round that was just speed, cause I was like that dude didn't get touched at all. Yes, it was good blocking, but that dude didn't get touched. Um I also felt like the Ravens really didn't 
I, I like this is where I'll say the all like one like one thing with the Ravens uh with the coaching is is that you can see the difference between Andy Reid, Matt Nagy versus uh more I think it's Morning Wig uh for the Ravens. I forget I forget his name, but also I was like <sighs> it's really weird that they that they got as pass happy as they did with that team. I was like, I don't think they used Derrick Henry uh enough. Um, I was like, and the thing is, they didn't. It's not like they got down to where they had to like bail on the run. To be honest, I was like, it did sort of. It, that's why I said it sort of was like the AFC game where it was like it's like man, they just they're just passing the ball an awfully lot. Now, granted, Lamar Jackson ran the ball a lot more, where it was just like there ain't nobody to throw to. All right, man. I was like, and to be honest, I was like, he like there was some throws that like, he missed, like especially towards the. Uh, and I was like, I felt like he did. He missed likely, where likely sort of got like a like a little hurt. Um, he missed Zay Flower, but that one to me, I was like, that one to me was just miscommunication of Zay Flower kept running where he it seemed like he wanted him, where Lamar wanted him to stop into like the little spot. Um, I was like the likely one he could have. I feel like he could have had, um, but likely had a great ass game. I think he's going to really have to be. The X factor to this offense just because, while well, like Zay Flowers is going to get a lot of, uh, being like, like looked at upon because I was like he's the other he's the main guy on the offense. Bateman, I was like, you know he had that one great catch on the on the sideline and stuff like that. I just don't know how what to what level of him being good to where it's like I wish they I wish they would have had it. they had another receiver. Like I know all the stuff with Odell Beckham, especially how he, he kinda is on the Dolphins and he might not have it like how he used to. But I at least feel like him being out there being a vet and stuff like that and things of like him being at least a decent option. I know it didn't really work that well, especially going towards the end of the season. But they they I feel like they should have tried to get another receiver. In some type of way, whether that had been like a big receiver, like I know he's heard a lot about Mike Williams, or or something like that, or a real speedster guy. Cause I was like Zay Flowers, he's fast, but I was like he's fast in like space and shifty and things like that, to where he's more dynamic. Um, I was like I I didn't I was like I thought the Chiefs are just really more creative in their offense than the Ravens are, um, and but also to the defense for the, for. Chiefs are also that good too with their uh, with their players that I was like you know I think they also just it's just one of the things where it's like the Chiefs are are they just that good of body and the receivers or it's the receivers in the situation where I sort of felt like a little bad times last year where it was like they're it's not that necessarily that they're not getting open as much as also are they even creating ways for them to be open um, I was like cause I was like. Lamar had to do really a lot of putting stuff on his back, but and while the defensive line for the, the Chiefs is really good with Colossus and Chris Jones and stuff, the that line for the Ravens, it it didn't take. I was like, you, Lamar would basically as soon as it was like one two they was there, they was they was around him, and he didn't have no choice but really to run. And while, and I, don't get me wrong, that did gas out the Chiefs defense a lot. You've seen them all win, especially on that last drive. That that might be a problem during during the later portion. I mean, as the season goes on, until that line gets some cohesion. Um, I thought that was, I thought that was a real problem with the Ravens. Um, like I said, Lamar. I was like, Lamar did miss some throws. I feel like I was like, and that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's like Lamar, I was like, yes, but also if it's the play calling where it's kind of like, and the line where it's like they have to have both Andrews and likely sometime blocking just because, and which only leaves you with like two receivers and maybe a back leaking out. Um, I was like, I think I just feel like with, I was like, it didn't seem like there was that many screen. They didn't do any screens or nothing like that, which I feel like with a line that's not as great that it's like get them on the move put put people in space to play making things like that um but i was like with the runs i did see derrick henry do i did like those runs because i was like there's a couple times where it's like you realize that's the difference of having derrick henry versus 
just a regular running back because there was a couple times where it was just like he should have been stopped, but because it's him, he's going to basically get those yards needed. There was like one where like his lineman got pushed back into him and he pushed him out the way and was able to get the first down. Um, that like uh, third, like it was like that third and one, I believe, or was it? No, it was the fourth and one. I was like that Derrick Henry made that happen uh, by shrugging the, the DB off. Um, yeah, I was like, I was like. I was like, I think the, I was like, the, the defense, the defense looks fine. They said, same like they, I was like, they always normally got people there to replace, uh, replace people, you know, at left, like clown and stuff like that. What up, Jim Buzz, stuff like that. But I was like, it's that, it's that offense where it's like, Lamar lost, lost the weight so that he could feel more comfortable. But it's like, yo, he might, he might get his ass ate up a couple of times during this season in a way that's like, not going to be pretty. But still, I was like, well, it's also it's also when you look at this game, it's like they had a chance to beat the Chiefs once again. Even like the Chiefs wasn't killing them. I was like, as far as like you know, what like it was like twenty seven to three, like it was that Southern AFC game. They was they was there. I think Tucker missing that kick changes the game because I was like, especially when he's been such a guaranteed bucket that he misses that one. And I was like, cause then it changes the way you play the game also too. Cause it's like. Some of that stuff is, I was like, where it's like, we got to score, the desperation to score. Um, you know, so I was like, but overall, I was like, Lamar Jackson played his ass off because he had to. And I was like, the offense for the Chiefs just just ridiculous. And now they got a plethora of weapons where you got, you go two tight ends. I was like, you go four receivers. Uh, they don't even have Hollywood Brown. So it's like, can't even wait to see how that really looks. Um. Yeah, no, I was like, it was it was overall excellent. I was like, excellent game. Like I said, it was it was. I was like, it, it was it was as crisp as you going to probably really get. Uh, for first uh, like a first week matchup, I was like, so I enjoyed that. I was like, I liked it. I was like, it, it brought. I was like, the, the game never got out of hand where you didn't want to see the game or finish the game. And even then, I was like, then once we got towards the end, the game was shot that they was this close to basically. When it was literally on the line or whatnot, um, yeah. So I was like, I was like, I was like, Chiefs look like, hey, at this, I was like, if their offense runs like that and their defense plays like that, they're gonna get, they're gonna get the top seed. But I think the Ravens are good in a good spot to where I'm like, I think they'll be fine. Nothing about this game really worries me yet uh, because I was like it, it's, I was like cause they all, I was like they always normally get their offensive line right by the season because I was like they've been without a lot of their starters on the line at a lot of times so I was like they normally get that rectified and and sure that up so I was like I, I think it's I think it's good I was like I just worried about the amount of tread that Lamar's going to do and also while I know they want to pass the ball, they did do it a damn lot when they're running team. Like they're running team, you got Derrick Henry for that. And like I said, the game wasn't out of hand to not use him as much, to be honest. Like they 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 literally stopped using him. Like Justin Hill was getting a lot of play. Um also I was like also I was like I was like, that's why I said, and that's also with the offense. I was like, I, I was like, we'll, and I was like, I, I will be intrigued to see the Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely stuff, just because I think Isaiah Likely really came on a lot last year, and I think also that was one of the things in the AFC Championship game that they got away from, where it was like, Mark Andrews coming back, let's put him in the game and immediately start him and use him a lot. And I'm like, but Isaiah Likely been the one carrying you here the whole time, like. Use him. He's more athletic. He's more dynamic, you know. And I was like, you sort of seen that tonight, where it's like Mark Andrews did get run, but it wasn't at the level needed. It's like Lamar was like, I'm gonna just go to Isaiah all the time. And they, and to be honest, the defense didn't really even stop, didn't stop him either. He was going crazy. Um, so that would be interesting to see what they, how they use that tight end thing, because I'm, because I don't. I don't think the offense is going to be – I mean, yes, they're going to have their moments and stuff like that, but I don't know if it's going to be as electrifying 
um, in the same sense of how they sort of was doing last year. Um, yeah, I was like, I, I was like, we're, we're, I'm just, I'm, we're just going to see how this this coordinator does with some of the play calls and stuff like that. Because, like I said, some things that I'm like screens or like short routes and stuff like that. I was like, it seemed like they were doing, seemed like they're doing a lot of trying to almost do the long ball a lot and credit to the Chiefs defense where Lamar had a sort of deacon and Duncan and stuff like that. Um but I was like I was like but I'm gonna say Lamar I was like I think one of the things that he has to work on not just like his deep ball but I feel like sometimes he puts a little bit like it's all it almost reminds me of Cam Newton in a way where it's where it's like um where he needed big receivers and I was like I think Lamar sort of needs a big receiver too, which is why likely and Andrew during the years were sort of a big thing. I was like, but they don't have anybody like that at the receiver position. I was like, Wall is probably like their biggest guy, but he doesn't play like that. It's Aguilar and, and Zay and Bateman. They're all like six feet or under. But anyway, it was a really great game. Um, I was like, yeah, I was like, if we're going to get stuff like this, we're going to see how the next game goes. I'm excited about the season. Um, but this is why NFL's at the top. But anyway, till next game. Peace. I'm out.